Alright guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Babe, you know I'm no, I'm not very good at guessing. So at this point you really have to tell me what we are celebrating. A new job, promotion, salary increases. What exactly are we celebrating? We're having a baby. Who's having a baby? We. We are. What's wrong with that? Oh God, not again. What? what do you mean by not again? How? How are we even having a baby? How is this possible? Melvin, what kind of question is that? When two people sleep together without protection, what do you expect? A watermelon? <laughs> Let's be realistic, Katana. We are not ready for this responsibility. We? Did you say we? I'm very ready, Melvin. I've been ready since the second pregnancy that you asked me to terminate. And I am still not ready. Are you listening to yourself? When we're sleeping together without protection, what were you expecting? Keep your voice down. Do you want the neighbors to hear? I don't care. Well, I care. I care because we have to do the right thing. The right thing? Melvin, pray tell. What is the right thing? Another termination? After the two I've already gone through for you? And I am telling you again, for the opting time, this conversation tonight, that I am not ready. And I am telling you that I am ready. And I've been ready for a very long time, in case you haven't noticed that. I, 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 can't, I can't even keep it. I'm Catholic. Oh, so you weren't Catholic when you were fornicating with me? Or you weren't a Catholic when you were asking me to terminate those pregnancies? Hmm? It's your problem! What's my problem? I should be asking you that. Again? How long am I going to continue seeing one red line for? Six years of trying, seven years of marriage. Good, please, please. Babe, I'm ready to go. Um, I'll be with you shortly, baby. So they say love is blind. You know, and I keep wondering, is there at any point of the blindness that one of the two parties start seeing? And I say this because in this last clip, we can see that the girl has already done two abortions. Here she goes trying to celebrate on the next pregnancy, which of course is an unplanned one, but the guy is still upset that she's pregnant for the third time. And here we go again. He's talking about them aborting it. I don't know, but at what point should a lady stop aborting children if the man doesn't want it? Because, you know, I feel like already the man owes that relationship a favor by not getting her pregnant. If you know that you're not interested in any baby, why do you keep pouring everything inside? Is it possible that you can hold yourself accountable to not let everything go inside considering you know what you don't want because we all know that excessive abortions has this downside and at the point where you're actually asking her to you're not thinking of this you're just thinking of whatever future that you don't want with her or that you don't want to get interrupted because of the baby you know i'm one of those people that believe that it's a beautiful thing to have a baby now i understand completely that people are usually on a different path and sometimes they are not ready for the baby but one pregnancy two and the third one you want her to abort all three at what point are you going to understand that this is now getting detrimental to her health ladies when you are in a relationship and a guy is continuously asking you to abort 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 you got to be careful of the aftermath of this whole thing. Excessive abortions does come with its own price. Now, there's this saying, If you are not interested in a long-term relationship with somebody, you got to be taking preventive measures when you guys are doing anything. Because one thing can always lead to another. So if you're not interested in this person, you got to, from the onset, be careful. So you don't continuously keep getting her pregnant and keep asking her to abort it. Now that's all I have for this one. If you love this kind of content, please like and share. Also subscribe or follow us so that you'll continue getting content like this. My name is CJ from McNally Studios and I'm here to deliver sense.